Welcome back, y'all. It's Jamila from Color Me Crafty. And today I have a brilliant DIY shoe painting tutorial. First of all, let me say that this tutorial is sponsored by Plaid Crafts. Today I'm about to show y'all how to take some old, ugly, dusty shoes and turn them into something like this. My daughter saw him and told me I was brilliant. I believe her. But before we get started, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Make sure you watch through to the end because this is a very awesome tutorial. Let's get into it. So what you're gonna need is some gloves, some acetone, paper towels, paint brushes. Um, I have a couple different sizes here. You want something that you can use to poke a hole. Obviously, apple, apple barrel paints, some textile medium, and optional is um, the painter's tape. And then you also want something that is going to protect your work surface. I just used a piece of butcher paper. The first thing you want to do is remove the laces. Um, at this point, you can wash the laces if you want to. Mine were still pretty white. These are actually shoes that were given to my younger daughter from my oldest daughter and she's a shoe head so all of her stuff stayed really clean so just remove your laces and go ahead and set them aside once you have your laces removed go ahead and grab one of your a piece of paper towel and use some acetone to clean off the shoes um, best you can like I said, mine were pretty clean. Most of the dirt was on the soles of the shoe, which I guess I could have used a toothbrush to get that off, but um, I just used the acetone and wipe. I wanted to try a color block um, type design I guess and so I chose four different or five different colors I chose a yellow a blue a purple a pink and an orange and I went into this with really no idea of what I was going to do I just kind of decided to wing it I also have a black here use the black at the very end to kind of make the colors pop and to make my shoes look more cartoony or comic booky or however you want to say it but the end result was really cool so the first thing I did was put my paints in my paint palette and I added just a little bit of the textile paint this is my first time painting on leather um, I knew I didn't want it to crack and I also wanted it to go on smoothly so I just added a couple drops of the textile paint I guess to soften or um, water my paint down just a little bit once you have the textile medium in your paint you want to make sure that you mix those very very well um, and what I did was just mix it until there were no white streaks left in it. Now you can start painting. I learned a lot during this process. This was the first time, like I said, that I have painted on leather. And initially what I tried to do was paint one coat and then almost immediately go back in and paint a second coat. So what I ended up doing is allowing each layer to dry completely in between each coat. Later in the video, you'll see as I got a little bit more comfortable, I would paint 
the colors on one area. Like I would paint my pink and then I'd move to my purple or I also did where I painted one shoe, set it aside and then painted the other one and then came back. But where, what seemed to work the best was me painting each color on the shoe. So like going in and painting my pink and then coming back or going to a different area of the shoe and painting the purple and so on and so forth. Another thing I ended up realizing that I was doing was using way too much paint. You want the paint to go on in a very, very smooth, thin layer. And that's almost impossible when you have too much paint on your brush. And another thing I was worried way too much about getting the colors into the next section of shoe. Because these colors are opaque, and I am painting so many layers. Well, not so many. I only ended up painting, I think, three to four layers. I think the entire project took me like two hours. I probably should have slowed down just a little bit, but I keep saying it. I am in love with the end result. I finished up a lot of my painting off camera I just continued until I was comfortable or until I was happy with the coverage that I got on the shoes. I did um, paint the fabric on the tongue and I painted right over the um, Nike logo on the very back heel. Once you have your entire shoe painted, you want to Clean up any areas that have paint on it that you don't want and allow them to dry completely. When I went in with the black paint, I had one idea in my head that doesn't didn't really work out. So um, I ended up painting the stitching around the sole. That actually ended up being a very hard thing to do. And you'll see later in the video that I painted it completely and then ended up going in and wiping it off best I could. But again, the end result of this turned out amazing. I am very happy with the way the shoe turned out. And here is where I decided I did not like the black line that I painted around the sole. So I am using the acetone to wipe it off. So with my black paint and my a very, very, very thin paintbrush, I switched brushes for all the color. I used a flat brush, but for this part, I just used a, a really thin paintbrush and I just painted lines. Um, basically like very abstract I I mean there was no rhyme or reason to where I painted these lines I just painted them where I thought they would look good and it turned out great so just go in with the black paint and paint lines wherever you see fit this was a really fun project and I can actually see taking a lot of our old dirty shoes and doing something like this with um, I do want to try maybe some um, different shades of the same colors but using the same color block method but this is an amazing way to spruce up some old ugly dusty shoes uh, for your kids to wear back to school my baby came in and she was like mom why are they so pretty so turns out they like what I do but the very last thing I did I let the shoe dry completely and then I sprayed it with um, some Mod Podge sealer again I'm not sure if it's necessary but I've felt like it couldn't hurt. I will link below everything that I used and 
I would love to know if you try these out. Here's an up close look at how the shoe looked before I put the laces back in. And here's after. I think they turned out fabulous even with where I wiped off the um, black paint and you can see it it almost looks like pencil shading or marker shading these shoes turned out amazing <laughs>